I lost everything I had inside a couple years. Lost my faith, I lost my mind, I lost a lot of tears. All right, guys. Oh, we did 550 for the top seven floor. Went pretty good. I feel like I'm finding my form again. I feel like before I was leading, I was like two, 200 forward. I felt very like unstable in my core, but things are moving, man. After, this is crazy to do this. It didn't feel too bad. Of course, the last rep felt a little bit heavier. I'm pushing this squat day because next week I'm pretty much gonna deload. Like even though I could probably push a little bit heavier, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Cause like knowing me, I always wanna, I always wanna push because that's just who I am. But within reason, right? Um, we're like seven weeks out right now. So to do this on a secondary day feels great. My squats are feeling good. I feel like I just have to create more tension through my feet on the ground for my squats and I should be money. So my legs are tired. That's all I can really say is my, my legs are tired, but they're, they're still pushing. We got back downs now. We got leg press, some small accessories. I gotta head out of here, dude. I gotta get this stuff done. I think I have to probably go pick up the apparel. Gotta go back to work. It's been a long day, but it's been a productive day. Let's get it. So much smoke like over the wind You know you should my desire I got my body, I don't need a fit Stop, she's a CP, my supplier He's a true free, okay, then it's a fit Find me some money before they pass I'm running out That's on me I'm a hot nigga, check my degree Know my bitch and my teeth Normally I'll be able to vlog, but it's a lot of stuff going on. So <laughs> I gotta get out of here because it's busy in Durham today. It's a beautiful day. Every every time I come to Durham to pick up these shirts, it's a beautiful day. That's, that that means it, it's it's a great sign that like I'm doing the right thing, you know. So whew, your boy's out of breath from talking so much. But let's head out. Let's go grab something to eat because I have no food at the house. Shout out to the meal prep Camellia, Camellia Culinary. It's going to be hooking up probably on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, we got like a 30 minute drive back. So let's get on. Yo, shout out to David Perkins, bro. He has a great channel. Great channel. Love his content. I try to be like that one day. So, oh my gosh. It's been a good week so far. Yesterday we squatted, today we have to go deadlift, so ate some food. I've been fasting a lot lately, I feel really good. My weight's in a good spot, but I've been fasting a lot. And just like whenever I'm able, whenever I'm hungry, I'm just deciding to eat instead of force feeding myself, right? So, so uh, it was 196 today, which means we're in a great spot to maintain this weight until the comp. If I, if I get to like 198, that's not bad. But maybe like that three week out mark, I'll just keep my, just food, you know, very, very strict right now. Right now, I still have some more leeway. Like, I'm able to maybe get away with, like, a cheat meal here or there, like sushi or something like that if I need more calories. But so far, things are, things are going really good weight-wise. I'm waiting on Lisa and Elizabeth from Camellia Culinary. They're going to drop off the meal prep. I'll show you guys that whenever it gets here. Then I'm going to go work out. We got deadlifts today. I'm going to push a little bit more this week. Because next week is when I push my deadlift. So I'm going to try to hit like 578 today for four. I, I know I got it. And also, before I forget, y'all, look what I got on. I have on the new Butterfly Tee. It's revamped. So the, the Butterfly Tee 2.0, it came out really dope. Looks awesome. The quality is great. The mineral wash, the oversized fit, it's it's incredible. So you, I'll kind of give you guys more of a breakdown of that when I get back home. Because uh, you guys already probably saw the shorts. Which are gonna compliment it. I don't have the shorts on today. I just have some samples that I that I put on, but just nice little fit. I'm feeling really good. Like just love the fit and the feel of this. And like I said, this will all be launching February 17th, so be on the lookout. Did I do it? Oh my gosh. Well, stay. See, look at that. Look how close I am. Wow, that looks so nice. 
Saffron was nineteen dollars. We couldn't get you any saffron. It's okay. That's fine. And it was just for color. I was like, Dom, can you get my headphones from the gym? Yeah. I forgot. That's okay, I got them. Okay, I, I really forgot. You know what, I just realized I should've did it today. These okay. shades make me feel good. I feel like you've been at North. I've been, I have been at North for a little bit. This is the behind the scene process that I think a lot of people don't understand. They're, they're killing it. Every time I try to help out, they tell me to move. I'm sorry that my sister took the table. <laughs> She's, one day, can we all eat food together like that, sitting down? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm down. I love sitting down on the ground eating. I wanna do that. I know, I'm embracing it. I feel like I'm at like a food kitchen. Fishing for a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just like fell all over on top of it? <laughs> Deadlifts, I think. We did good on bench and then we just caught the vibe. So now I gotta go sit in the sauna, relax, and then that's pretty much it for the day. Tomorrow, tomorrow's nothing even crazy. So I think the next time I'll see you guys will probably be on Sunday where we're gonna go for a deadlift PR. <laughs> so I'm currently watching my boy Jamar Rush's video. My brother, my brother. I actually have, to, I have my glasses on because when I was at the gym and I was in the sauna, I don't know what it was. But like my right eye was bothering me. I think I got chalk in my eye, which is really funny enough. But I don't even know if y'all can even hear me in that last clip. What I was trying to say was had an amazing workout. We did 578 on deadlift for four. Back downs felt smooth. I haven't done back downs at 490 pounds in I don't know how long. So deadlifts are on a whole different level right now. Mentality, my strength, my body feels really good. Uh, it's funny because I was watching Jamar's video and he was talking about how he's dealing with like a shoulder stuff. And I feel like because one, I've been dealing with with a shoulder thing too, and it's, I think we have something that's pretty similar, uh, different but similar in, in the same ways. And if you, I've been talking to Evan, and like everyone has these aches and pains that just happen, right? When we're doing what we do consistently, and another good point that Jamar said about like with powerlifting, you don't really have that much time off. When you're at a certain level, you have to compete at a certain time in order to get to that raw nationals or, or that bigger competition. So you're prepping after your last one you maybe have like a two month off season and then you're right back into lifting heavy but within the off season you're still lifting heavy <laughs> relative to your strength and all that it's just there is no really there's no off time and i think right now with everything going on with nationals being a little bit wonky for some people we're all just like in a different headspace like i have this competition that i'm about to do and i'm super excited for um and i'm also excited to like to do stuff after right to give like you have to give your body a break <laughs> I always tell my clients and even myself, you can't be strong all year around, like, right? You can't be strong all year around, right? And all that means is like, sometimes you have to like, take your foot off the gas, allow yourself some time to recover, to train differently, to work different movement patterns, so that way you can keep on progressing and not just one, get burnt out, two, just stall because you, you're pushing your body to its limit. 350 days out, out of the year right <laughs> um but it's just it's crazy when you when you put it all into perspective we're all doing we're doing what we love we enjoy it we love competing we're all competitors at heart it just takes a toll on the body and you have to do just as much body work just as much attention of getting work done whether it's chiropractic 
deep tissue stuff in order to keep doing this. So just watching that it really just like made me realize, man, like the aches and pains that I feel, the aches and pains that Jamar or Evan or whoever's watching is feeling, it's going to happen. But it's like what you do, how you respond to that is what really matters. So yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better though. Shoulder was a little bit wonky today, but I need to do a better job at warming it up. Some days when I warm it up, it feels great. Some days when I, you know, do it, uh, like a extended or even shoulder warm up, it, it it's hit or miss, but it's way better than how it was three weeks ago. Shoot, two a week and a half ago. So there's progress. Um, I noticed that whenever I like my back gets tensed up, so does this left arm. So I just got to be on top of that and just stretching it out more and just allowing myself to open up my chest versus just getting straight to it. So we just had dinner. Your boy is tired. I'm on. I've been. It's on a. <laughs> I'm a it a, it a bada bada. I've been on a crazy, crazy time schedule. Like today, I got off work, came home. You guys saw um, Elizabeth and Lisa help out with meal prep. That was fun. Went to the gym. I was there for a minute, and then I just got home like an hour ago. So I'm exhausted. Got stuck in traffic, but we made it. So I gotta actually head to bed, shower, do some programming because I have to get up super early for my new. My new work hours. <laughs> I got to get up at like four. So thankfully tomorrow's not a super taxing day. But it's been a good week, man. It's been a really good week. So I'll catch you guys. Mm, it's been a really good week. I'm going to stop saying I'm, I'm going to catch you guys. I'm just going to have a transition. It's been a good week. It's been a good Even leaving me so special. I think I did. Let's go. Let's go do some cardio. Alright guys, so quick change of plans. We just went and dropped off everything at the post office. And now, well, not everything. It was just one thing I had dropped off, so pretty much. Dion, um, what I did, so because he helped out with the launch and everything, so I can put this on one arm. Because he helped out with the launch and everything, I am giving him the apparel, right? right? Like, he helped make it and I'm super thankful for him. So, send him the shirt, send him the shorts and all that good stuff. So that's gonna be shipped out today. Shout out to you, bro. If you ever see this, thank you so much. So um, now that's done, I'm gonna go on a walk instead of going to do cardio at my gym. It's a beautiful day out, it feels really good, and I just wanna get outside before I have to go into work today. So nice slow morning, I'm not rushing. I'm able to like whew, decompress. I'm really excited for this walk, so let's get it. This is very beautiful out today. I've never been, I've actually like never walked over here. I've definitely seen it before. <laughs> I've definitely parked over here and <laughs> just like chilled, but I've never like, never walked this, this nice little park. So we're gonna enjoy the vibes today and clear our mind. Go outside and get some sun, y'all. I feel like a lot of us spend too much time inside from our jobs, for social media, but enjoy the day. I just won't be like him. I just won't be like him. I was over here sitting like, man, they got me through a whole neighborhood and then I keep walking through the neighborhood and the, the walk continues. So hopefully I don't get too far from my car. <laughs> I'm gonna be out here walking like five miles. I'm like a marathon runner at this point, but no, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day. And this is a nice neighborhood. I didn't know this was over here. Guys, we made it. That was uh, a lot longer of a walk than I thought it was gonna be. It was probably like an hour and a half. So it felt really good. The weather's beautiful. It's like 50 or 60 degrees. I didn't know how far I was walking until like I got halfway through and I was like It's taking me to a whole different park. I was gonna be like an hour away if I kept walking So I turned around and it was worth it man. So beautiful day so much time to decompress and just like Just enjoy Being alone and just with my thoughts. So Let's go home. Let's go eat. Let's go knock out this video that I'm gonna be posting for the new Rise and Shine launch there, man. You guys cross them all. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes you lose.
Sometimes I can't get right. Most times I do. Sometimes you win some. See if I can vlog with one hand. I can do it. I can do this. Mama ain't raised no beep. All right, I'm vlogging with one hand. We're doing it. Shout out to this lens being so wide. Big body, big body. Here we go. Here we go. Walking. You know what's crazy? I don't ever think. Hey, what's up, bro? Going? going good. Happy Friday. Yeah. It's content time. You see me? We here. That was funny. Shout, shout out to Julian. All right, let's see if I can do this. Open. You know, open? Yeah. Oh. Is it actually it's recording everything right Is now. It for real? Yeah. Is it actually? No, it's not. Yes, it Look at it. Oh. And it's wide lens too. Hello, everyone. Um, happy Black History Month. You know what's you know what's crazy? <laughs> Evan told me that his white clients were paying in reparations. Yeah, he told me that. Yeah. I wish him a happy and prosperous Black History Month. No. <laughs> Right. I'll pay him really that's, Come on now. That is nothing. That's a drop in the bucket. Hey, look. Because preparations is spending time. I'm half white, so I'll take anything at this point. Oh, uh -huh. wow. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing it like history. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set our top set of squats. A double and a 5 18. So everything's moving pretty good. I'm gonna go up in the rack height because I feel like it's too low. <laughs> and then we're gonna go up to 518 for top double. Let's get it. like a sweaty ass beaver <laughs> we just got done with the workout went really well man 518 for squats 3 331 on bench moving and grooving we're done it's time to go home man if you guys are watching this go show some love to the other i think episode four or five I'm kind of losing track of this at this point but go check it out give me your thoughts and opinions we're trying to do something a little bit different with this series uh if you guys like it let me know if you guys don't like it also let me know uh, but that should be out right now. We got that uploading as this video is going up. Boy, I'm stepping on chicken bones. <laughs> Why are there so many chicken bones over here? Fun fact, hard work is right next to like a gambling center, I think. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny. Like a, it's like a gambling center or something like that. So we always have a lot of interesting people right here. Bro, it's, it feels so good out here. I love when I come out of the sauna and it's like about 50 or 60 degrees. I don't like when it's 30, kind of freezing, but it's just, just the right temperature. So let's head home. Hopefully not get stuck in traffic, even though we probably will. Let's see what else we can get done for the day. Oh, oh what's good, y'all? All right, we're up. We're up, we're moving and grooving. It's Saturday, a little bit later. I stayed in bed a little bit later than I normally am used to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our day started. We're gonna go eat breakfast. I'm gonna go cook something really good. Just enjoy the Saturday morning. I don't have to train, so this is the day where I really just fully reset and rest. Get a lot of stuff done with it, like within the house, right? Like chores, cleaning. I said chores. <laughs> cleaning, like my room, vacuuming, uh, dishes, just stuff I'm like not able to do as I'm like so busy throughout the week. But let's get the day going. Let's enjoy this day. It's gonna be a great one. Let's go eat some good breakfast.
look super appetizing, but it's chicken sausage and about 300 grams of egg whites. And I got sweet potatoes um, right in the air fryer. So I'm gonna eat this first meal of the day. Let me give y'all the macros real quick. Let me give y'all the macros. The macros on this meal are going to be 38 grams of protein, 11 fat, 51 grams of carbs, which is not bad. And then everything else will add up very nicely throughout my day. But whew, first meal. Just drop my phone. <laughs> Sorry, um, so actually what I forgot to actually say is my breakfast wasn't actually I had the macros wrong. Macros actually are 70 protein, 21 fat, 57 grams of carbs. So my fat's been pretty low. I'll probably only get like 40, maybe to at most 60 grams of fat today. And that's been helping everything. And protein's been high. Carbs have been pretty high too. So I'm still losing weight. I'm losing a lot of weight. So I kind of like vary up and down, but it's the first meal, ate that. And now we're gonna eat the next one. I don't know why I like came back on here to say that, but I want to say that. I want to make sure we get the macros right. I think I'm going to take guys through a full day of eating without even noticing or knowing I was going to do that. We're going to take y'all through a full day of eating. All right, guys. So we just vacuumed. We kind of cleaned up the house a little bit. I'm going to so just my room, actually. I'm going to eat my second meal of the day, and then I'll probably be eating two more meals, maybe even one more. Probably like so, maybe three or four meals a day. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be eating. Probably one of my favorite meals right now from Camilla from Camellia Culinary. It's gonna be like a Mediterranean harissa chicken, basmati rice with some veggies and some garlic sauce. So let's the second meal, like I said, is brought to you by Camellia Culinary. Harissa chicken, basmati rice. We got some veggies and some pickled onions. 10 out of 10. It's so good. So so good. Let me tell you the macros on this. 60 protein, 12 fat, 75 grams of carbs. So Boom, right now we're at a total of 130 protein, 33 grams of fat, 132 grams of carbs. We're in a good spot. Let's eat it. Only about 6.56, so it's actually, no, it's 6.58 going on seven, and I just got back home. I'm gonna eat my, probably like my last meal of the day, and I'm probably gonna do a protein shake to end off the night, but I got a little bit of a cheat meal with me. Um, you guys just saw I have some sushi from this place that's right down the street from my house, never had it before. I'm only doing this because I woke up at 193. I'm doing a little bit more of a refeed to kind of get me more heavier tomorrow, so that way I can pull something nice and fat <laughs> so, I can, uh, so I can pull a great PR but I'm also gonna be eating my meal prep right the only thing the only thing that I'm gonna do differently is I'm not going to be eating this rice I'm gonna be eating oh it's hot y'all see that um, sweet chili like turkey meatballs and some cauliflower I'm gonna be eating this too so I honestly probably with I didn't know it was gonna be that much protein on top of the sushi I probably should be good on my protein intake today um, if anything like I said I'll do like one little shake but I should be fine but I'm gonna eat this because your boy's hungry and that's gonna be it so tomorrow tomorrow we will see you in the gym at Hard Work North where we will hit a deadlift PR I'm saying it now mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. you I ain't gonna hold it no. Cut, it ain't that fresh, bro. <laughs> I like, I like, come on, bro. I know it is. He's like, I ain't gonna. Sin City was a media. Yeah, let him know, let him know. I'm a little sweaty right now. You already know where we at. Also, Matt's in the corner, too. Shout out to Matt. Matt, Matt just pulled up out of nowhere, too. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about today, man. It was everything that we needed for deadlifts. We had a great workout. We're actually still working out right now. We're about the bench, but um, deadlift was a PR, 645 for two. Um, and I think one of the things that I noticed, uh, or just having such like-minded individuals around me, was like Evan was like, hey, bro, that was good, but you could do better. He was like, you know, work on that lockout. Make sure you're undeniable each time. And that's what having great people around you, it matters. Because yes, did I get the weight? Of course, but he was looking at my breakdown, um, looking at my technical 
you know, um, deficiencies, right? And all he was talking about was whenever I did my first rep, I was just trying to get through it and hit that last one, but I should have made each one undeniable. And that's just everything in life, right? So I'm really happy with how things are going. This is exactly what I needed to end off this amazing block. Deadlifts are feeling good again to some degree. And I know that like the confidence is building and we only have just like a few more weeks, pretty much like maybe a month and a half. Yeah, maybe like a month and a few days until we step back on the platform in California. So exactly what I needed. Remember guys, anything is possible. It's your boy Dominic Rod, I'm gonna end the video right here. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. And rise and shine to a new day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.